What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 kids who got caught stealing. Now stealing is always a bad thing, but sometimes seeing an innocent kid steal something so dumb can be really funny, and today we're counting down the best that were caught on camera. Anyways, if you do go on to enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe down below. If you didn't know, we have a weekly giveaway where if you're subscribed, you get automatically entered to win an Amazon gift card, so why not do it real quick? Also, if we can get 5,000 likes on this video, sometime next week we'll post the top 10 kids who got the crap scared out of them on camera, so drop a like if you'd like to see that video. But with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5 Some videos of kids are funny, and some of them are straight up cruel, but this one is kinda right in the middle. The kid gets caught red-handed trying to sneak ice cream sandwiches out of the store, and the owner just does not want to let it go. At first, he just makes the kid apologize, but apparently he wants to take it a step further so this never happens again. I mean, you can tell the kid's terrified of his dad finding out, and even once he promises to never steal again, the shop owner says he's gonna tell him anyways. I mean, it's pretty heartbreaking, but it gets even worse, as the owner says he's gonna call the police too. Now, I'm not saying the video is super funny, but I just can't help but laughing when he makes the kid apologize just to tell him he's gonna tell his dad anyways. The reaction the kid has is super priceless, and that's why the clip takes our number 5 spot. No, you did it more than once. Admit it. If you admit it, listen. You promise me you won't do it anymore? Alright, say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For stealing. Huh? For stealing. And you will never do it again. again. Alright, but I'm still telling your dad. No, my God, please. I'm calling the cops too. No. You wanna go to jail? Are you gonna ever steal? I will never steal in my life again. Should I call the cops? No. So say sorry for stealing. Sorry for Number four. But most parents find out their kid has been stealing, they either ground them or shout at them to make sure they never do it again. However, this dad went one step further and made sure his punishment would actually teach his daughter a valuable lesson. The 10 year old girl basically stole fake nails from a Walgreens, but instead of taking them away, the dad thought of something even better. He actually let his daughter keep them and even gave her the money to buy them, but unfortunately for her, there was a little bit of a catch. He literally made his daughter walk back into the store to buy the nails she stole, as well as apologizing to all the staff for stealing in the first place. On top of that, her dad even threatened her with the police in the store, saying that they would put her in handcuffs if she didn't get her act together. From what we could see, the girl looks really upset, but it's probably a better way to deal with things than just yelling, and I'm sure to this day she probably hasn't stolen again. Open your mouth. Tell her what you did. Sure. Show what you did. And she had money in her pocket. Until you come here to pay for them nails. Right? Did you want them that bag in order to steal them? I'm just saying, even though you had the money to pay for them. You're a talking to you? What you supposed to say? Follow. Come on. You can stay on that side. Right here. Do you have the box that they came out of? Go get another one, so go get another one. Thank you. They got police in the back? Uh, we sure do. Ah, tell them, come on. Number three. Now, stealing from anywhere is obviously bad, but it takes a whole other level of gust to steal from your own family. The kid in this video is super young, but he somehow managed to steal money from his mom and was trying to spend it at school. Now unfortunately we don't get to see the mother, but the uncle's there to step in, and his way of dealing with things seemed actually pretty effective. Now you can tell right away the kid already seems to regret what he did, but he gets even more upset when he hears his uncle might call the cops. Apparently that's all he needed to motivate him to be good, as after he's threatened with the police he swears over and over that he'll never steal again. I mean it's not the most original method, but it's hard to argue that it doesn't work, and the uncle manages to teach the kid a lesson without ever having to raise his voice or lay his hands on him. Pick you up since you wanted to steal from your mom today? You gonna steal again? Calm down. Are you gonna steal from your mom again? How do I? How can I believe you? So I shouldn't call the cops? No. So you're not gonna steal again? No. How can I believe you? Because. I won't do it 
I won't do it ever again because I'll be promised. I won't do it ever. You swear? Yes, I swear. Promise to everything? Yes. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe I should call him. No. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you promise you're not going to steal again? Yes, I promise. I'm Pinky gonna... promise. Yes. Okay, you better not break it. Okay. I won't. Because stealing's bad. Number two. Now, stealing is never the right thing to do, but some kids really are too young to know any better. The boy in this video doesn't even look five years old, and it's obvious from his face that he doesn't know what he's doing is wrong. He literally steals a chocolate egg from Walmart, but he confesses straight away, and even kind of seems proud of what he's doing. Now, once the dad finds out, though, he obviously has to teach him not to steal again, and manages to do it in a pretty positive way. So they go back into the store, and the kid tries to put the chocolate back where he found it, but unfortunately for him, the dad makes it clear that isn't good enough. Instead, he has to give the chocolate back to one of the employees, and his dad demands that he apologizes for stealing it in the first place. At this point in the video, the boy is crying and is way too ashamed to speak, but he does give the chocolate back and promises to never steal it again. As for the employee, she seems pretty confused by what's going on, but I'm just glad the kid learned his lesson. What do you have in your hand? Chocolate. Yeah. Did we pay for that? Yeah. Did we? No. We didn't. So get your ass back in here. Right? Yeah, it's not funny, dude. We don't steal. It's not a prank. We don't steal. Come here. Come here. Right here. You see that? Hey, 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 hey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come here. Come here. I want you to come tell this lady right now. Get over here. I don't care. Ah, uh, you're too scared? Look, come here, ma'am. Ma'am. He wants to tell you something. What are we going to say? We're not going to do that again, are we? Right? No. We're not going to steal, are we? Will you hand her that? You better hand her that. Thank you. Thank you. Here's our honorable mention. Every kid in this video has confessed to stealing straight away, but the older they get, the more they think they can get away with. To kind of sum it up, the kids in this video deny they stole anything all the way until the end, but the woman standing behind them knows exactly what happened. Even when the kid says he thought his friend had the money, she sees right through them and calls the friend's silence a dead giveaway. What's kind of weird and funny at the same time though is she seems more obsessed with an apology than the guy being stolen from does, as when he says it's okay, she refuses to let it go. In the end, the kid apologizes but storms off, refusing to admit he did anything wrong. I mean, it's kind of hard to know who's in the right here, but the lady does seem pretty intense, and if a random lady started shouting at me, I'd probably just leave immediately. I gotta say though, it'd be super awkward if it turned out the kid actually didn't steal anything. That's what you say. Go ahead. But where was it? In my pocket. I was going to put it on the desk. But me only has ten dollars. So I didn't know. Okay? Listen, listen. Lie to someone else? Your friend is a dead giveaway. He's you, not even stealing. You were. You need to say you're sorry. I did! Yeah, okay. okay, no, it's 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 fine. No, but he needs I'm to not. apologize. Sorry. Number one. When you see someone stealing, it's so easy just to turn them over to the police, so it's extra generous when a shop owner decides to give someone the benefit of the doubt. The kid in this video had a habit of shoplifting and was caught stealing cans by a security camera. However, even knowing that the kid had stolen before, the shop owner still gave him a choice. Instead of calling the police, he was allowed to go home and bring his mom in so that they could talk about what to do next. The kid seemed super scared out of his mind, so letting him take a punishment from his family and said the cops was a really kind decision as it could seriously hurt a kid's future. Now unfortunately, they don't really show what happens next, but for everyone watching this video, just know that one day you'll definitely get caught stealing, so just don't ever steal to begin with. You look a thief, like my thief. Boy, here. Well, all the time you've done it, it's in the camera. Mm. Yes. I've got whole month. You just tried to thief my phone as well? No, I didn't. I got, I got you in all month in the camera. You sit down in there. I called the police now. Sorry, I don't want to no, show no, the police. No, 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 please. I don't want to. You've been doing it for one month. Please, I don't, I haven't. Yes, I, I need to speak to your parents as well. Please, I yeah. don't, oh, please, don't, please. Don't okay, say that. You know what, you don't need to do I that. Won't come again. No. And there's our video on the top five kids who got caught stealing on camera. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it.
With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.